morning everybody. We are going to be visiting the North Shore today. We're going to stop by a couple of places that we've already been but haven't filmed yet that we're super excited to visit. Some of our favorite places to eat and some of our favorite places to do things. Let's have a fun day. Look what we got. We've been riding the bus, so this is a treat for us to have this rental car. We didn't use like the normal rental cars. We are using an app called Turo, and you basically rent other people's cars, and it's way cheaper. So we have the car for a couple of days. We're gonna see a lot of things and do a lot of things, and Sam's gonna use it for work this week. Okay guys, so we're pulling up on our first stop for the morning called Holly Ava Bowls. Don't go anywhere else. If you're looking for an acai bowl, don't go anywhere else, I'm telling you. This is my favorite place, probably on the island, to eat anything. I dream about this place, so we are about to pull in and I'll show you what I like to get. All right, so we have to eat in the car because it's always busy, but I usually get the hot bubble, which comes with the acai, bananas, granola. I added strawberries and coconut shavings. I've only tried a couple other things, but they have everything from smoothies to coffee. So definitely must do when you're here in the North Shore. We are at our next stop, and some of you may have heard this is a very famous place in Hawaii. It's called Shark's Cove. So we're gonna be switching the footage now to the GoPro. So that's what you're gonna see. Gotta put on this Balenciagas. Gotta impress this fish out there. That looks stylish? No. snorkeling the main part of Sharks Cove. It's very, very calm. It's almost like a little aquarium you just snorkel through. Very good for families and beginners, but Sam didn't want to go because it's a little not his taste. So we're gonna go find a more difficult place to snorkel. So let's go check it out. the main little Shark's Cove kiddie pool is and you keep walking you'll see like this big archway through the trees go down that and it's a much deeper spot although I saw a lot of people going out very very far please don't do that unless you're very experienced because there's drownings almost every day here in Hawaii that I see on the news so just putting that out there but what do you think about the spot we just did it was definitely fun oh yeah yeah it was really cool we did some free diving yes with scuba fins the deepest we went was like 40 45 feet i don't know that we went that deep i know i probably hit like 30 feet at That's least me because i have trouble with this ear here but say about yeah. 40 feet max and it, we're definitely probably going to come back at some point because we liked it that much but mm -hmm. i think sharks cove big thumbs up you guys look at this view Better than I.
So we just made a stop at Pupu Kea Beach. I didn't expect it to be that good. I think it might be the best snorkeling that we found here on Hawaii so far. And that can change, but I've never seen a reef that close to the shore. That's that pretty, seriously. So we are about to get a late lunch and cane juice. We'll show you where we're at. I guess a bunch of food trucks come and park here, or they stay here really, and you can choose what you want to eat, but we're gonna get some pokey nachos, and then we're gonna tell a really cool story about where the shock it came from. So our friends who live over in North Shore kind of brought us here last time that we hung out with them. They brought us to this cane juice place. And it's cool because the shaka actually originated from this exact spot. There was a worker here who was a really like, well like guy. And one day he was running the cane through the mill to kind of get the juices out and everything. And he cut off his fingers, all three of his uh, first three index fingers. So he, he would still wave at people, but he would just do it this way. So that's where the shaka came from. So that's just a little backstory on the shaka and Hawaiian culture and stuff. But for our cane juice, we got lemon cane with pineapple, and then we both got poke nachos. I got amberjack, which is some kind of fish. I don't want to try it. And then Kristen got salmon. Yeah. And we got tsunami style, which they add a little extra to the, to the toppings. So, should be good. So the last time we came, we got this refillable jar that when you come back, you bring it and you get $8 refill for the cane juice. So that's what we did. And we're just waiting on our nachos. Ready to dig in? Mm -hmm. I don't need chopsticks. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy? You guys, the super tsunami. It comes with crab. It's spicy, which I love. So, so good. So good. Same approves. Oh, yeah. So I'm checking out where the sugar cane mill was. It looks like it's just a bunch of businesses, but they do have all these items that appears to be from the mill, all the equipment and stuff. So. Kristen wants me to tell you guys that I'm a party pooper and I'm ending the vlog early because I have work tomorrow. That's not true. But you do have work tomorrow. No, I do have work tomorrow. <laughs> it's like, what time is it? 3.30? 3.30. We have an hour drive home. So, so I'll be home by like 4.30 and... Back to reality. <laughs> gotta work in Hawaii. <laughs> what, what are we gonna do? Thank y'all so much for watching uh, our video for today. We've had an amazing day at Shark's Cove and visiting our favorite cane juice. I don't know if there's any other cane juice spots on the island, but our favorite cane juice spot <laughs> and Poke Stop. And we're planning on, after I do work on tomorrow, the next day, we're going to do Electric Beach. So stay tuned. <laughs>